Johnny, first and foremost, how does that feel? Two and win, first win against Stockport County. Brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Um, you know, we, we didn't beat Stockport last, last season over three games. Same with Chorley. Um, so we've turned the tables a little bit. Um, and if you if you want to compare results to last year, actually, we you know we're up um, two points already on last season in terms of the fixtures we've had. So uh, been a good start to the season. Um, thought the performance today um, sort of showed where we were at in terms of um, not always the quality of the football that we play. And we discussed this before. You know, Burner mentioned it on Saturday, but um, the willingness to, to to get the points on the board. But for the first 20 minutes was unbelievable. It was absolutely unplayable. We probably missed five, six chances. Then we start to lose momentum with silly fouls, um, and making uh, you know elementary mistakes and, and giving daft corners away. And I think the pressure that they that they put us under with a, I think it was 12 or 13 corners in a 10-minute spell, um, you know, paid off in the end. You know, we won the first ball and, and, and the lads fired it in. So a little bit disappointed with the, the way we conceded the goal, but. Apart from that, you know they've not caused us any problem whatsoever. Once again, you know that uh, as a unit, you know the 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 back five were outstanding. Um, seemed that they, they they were playing on Piagiani. Um, looked like they were trying to hit the diagonal. We, we, <laughs> why you do that is is beyond me. But that's that, that would seem to be the the game plan. Um, and yet, up every single <laughs> ball that was put near him. And, and listen, I really I really rate the the, the centre forward. He's had a great start to his career at Stockport. Somebody we, that we was aware of last season, so it's a great coup for them as a football club. But I thought uh, Pidgey's performance against him tonight was was unbelievable. It was that good of a performance. So delighted with with the three points and and, and another solid good performance. Um, a lot gets made about the size of clubs at this league, and obviously Stockport, they're one of those big clubs, like they're well established. Jim Gannon's got a lot of experience. Does it make it a little bit sweeter that obviously you guys come again from the other end of the footballing spectrum to get victories? I don't think it makes it sweet. I think it's always a good test. Um, you know, for me and Bernard, as you say, you're spot on coming from where we've come from, um, probably four or five leagues below where we are now, and, and being against you know your Jim Gannon, who's a pro licensed coach, who's managing Europe in the Scottish Premier League, um, had unbelievable success at Stockport, you know, in, in the past, and your Rob Edwards, who's a pro licensed coach, it's good experience for me and Bernard because in terms of our coaching qualifications, that's where we want, you know, we're, we're aspiring to get to. Um, so it's good to go up against them, and it's good to you know pick your wits because that's what you're doing ultimately. You know, you're pitting your wits against uh, people who are more experienced and, and, and as I said, more qualified. But once it comes to, sort of to the to the cool light of day, I don't think um, the size of the football club or anything like that starts to you know to, to to affect what it is. I mean, we've got a, we've got a massive and stop putting the same by the way, but we've got a massive um, injury crisis at the minute. Um, but I thought you know both sides put it put it out there on the pitch. Um, I think they play a big part of Stockport fans, you know, the, the unbelievable following that they've had tonight and, and make some real noise. And I think it, you know, pushed them on a little bit because I thought after, the, as I said, the first 20 minutes, you know, until they started, you know, building that, that little bit of momentum, we kept them fairly quiet. But once they got into the game, the raw started and, and they were fantastic. But um, I thought we managed it really well. You know, we've shown some great experience. Um, as I said before, you know, it's um, it's, it's brilliant pitting our wits against these guys and um, I'll make continue. And that's now three wins on the bounce and you're sending your programme notes in terms of reaction you couldn't have asked for better now got another test coming up on Saturday Kidderminster at home it, they keep coming but we're in the right momentum yeah they'll keep coming you know there's no I'm going to give you an awful cliche but there's no easy games at, at this level of football do you think um, Darlington taught us that? well I thought I think everyone knows what Darlington are I think I think they're a very good side I, 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 I think they'll be amongst the, um, the top three, four, five positions without a shadow of a doubt. I said that on the day. I think you don't have to look at the results since. Um, but but what they did with us was um, not that they caught us on and off there or anything like that. But I thought with us having a huge turnover of new players, I, th I don't think and it's Man and Burner's job to make them understand the rival rivalry between the clubs and what's going on. And I think they adapted to that day um, a lot, you know, a lot better than we did. And uh, let's have it right on the day. If we'd have put our chances away. We wouldn't, have been, we wouldn't even be discussing it. We'd have had a win. Uh, but they're a top side. So I think what they did was give us a kick, in, kick up the backside, um, and you know what we've shown in the last three games that we can not only play good football at times, um, which we want to be playing all the time, but we've shown that, that that we've got the you know the other side of it as well. You know the stuff that you can't do on the training ground, um, and the, there's a mass. I said it last time. There's a massive determination for the lads to watch succeed at this football, football club. Um, we've seen that again tonight, and let's let's look at the clubs we've played already. You know, Stockport, your Charles, your Dowels, all. Massive football clubs, all clubs that will be at the top end. Uh, Telford who are full time. We've got Kiddy coming up. We've got uh, Spennyboy and Southport in the top three or four already. Then we've got Brackley's. Then we've got Harrogate. It, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. So another cliche is that we kick to one game at a time, as everybody else is doing, and, and we just want to stay around it. We want to stay stay about it. And once we start to get 
um, the squad back together in terms of injuries and bans we start to click we'll be one hell of a side um, so you won't just be getting the you know them type of performances where we're digging in but you also start to see the sort of the gloss finish as well